what is going on guys, the Soros Fox here today, back again with another EAFC 24 Hall to Glory save episode 12 for you guys today, another big one in the bag, but as you know in the last episode we played Leicester, Birmingham and Norwich, got three wins, three great results, obviously that Norwich game was in the FA Cup, but since then we have faced a game where we have played against Huddersfield and Sheffield Wednesday, which we've played the highlights for, so let's quickly get in and show you them, and let's discuss the games and today's episode in a moment. So, yes, here we have it. Against Huddersfield, we got a 2-1 win at home, which we struggled. We had five shots, three on target. They had four shots, four on target. Troy Ore and Connolly getting goals. And it just sealed us a nice 2-1 win. And then a very shock defeat to Sheffield Wednesday. Very poor from them. Well, I mean, we dominated the game start to finish, but we just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. And they got a goal when it counted the most. I mean, we had 16, 16 shots, 6 on target. And they had 4 shots, 2 on target, and they scored 2 goals. Wilkes and Barry Banner getting the goals. But like I said, we just didn't put the ball in the back of the net when it mattered. So all the domination was for nothing. But it's going to be a very tough episode we're going to be facing manchester city at the etihad in the quarter finals of the fa cup we're going away to norwich to carrow road and then we will play coventry we'll think we'll simulate the plymouth game and then we shall be playing coventry to end things to finish the month of march so i mean currently we're sitting Fourth in the league. I mean, obviously that Sheffield Wednesday defeat has missed not missed opportunity to go third. But as I said we're still where we want to be for the season so far, and let's let's hope for the best. I mean, it's going to be tough, but yeah, I mean it's going to start this match against Manchester City. Let's get straight into the action. The fix to one man. Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to... Stay with us on EA TV. Welcome, this is the scene here at the Etihad Stadium. This could be troublesome, could be in here. And a goal! That will do it! Genuine chance, and a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser! There's only one thought in his head, smash it as promising. It could be up for grabs, and the... Grealish, can he give them the lead? And it's in! They're back in front! Stunning scenes here! Cover for me, no wonder he's... 
Well, that's not how they rehearsed it on the training ground. Yes. Blocked it brilliantly. Oh, that's a good pass. Oh, keep and a fine piece of goalkeeping. A glorious chance. And keeping it out. Fence. And there's the delivery. No more time left. The referee says that will do it. And it's Manchester City who go marching on. Yes, it's a close contest, but one I think they just about deserve to win. They did play the more creative football. They did try and press the ball high up the field when they could. And they showed good energy. They certainly need those qualities going forward. Well, we all know what a real handful Jack Grealish can be as far as opposing defenders are concerned. And he lived up to his billing in this one. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. The man to watch. The big news is he's been deemed fit enough to start. And we're live next on EA TV. Wherever you happen to be watching from Carrow Road in Norwich. Inconsistent both in terms of effort and quality. Great opportunity. A goal. Manning. Struggle today. Danger averted. It's now one. Oh, in. jumping in. They're in a great position here. Couldn't grab hold of it. Native in that wide position. Well, it might still work out for. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. They've pulled one back with 65 minutes played and it goes down as a missed opportunity wonderfully weighted pass still alive and this could square the game but no thanks to the goalkeeper opportunity not taken but really that should have been the equaliser and there's not long left now well a chip that went of their supporters well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next... The season is drawing to a close, and these two sides continue to battle it out in the table. It's a huge game. It's a six-pointer. Don't go anywhere. All the action next. A oh, warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary Stadium. They also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Oh, that's a fine save. Over it comes. And the danger's still on. Here. Well, the... Oh, tremendous reflex action. And what a magical save it was! Might work out. And they could do damage. And it's in! 1-0. They've breached the defence. He's going forward well here. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Uh, so maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Down. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere. How oh, can they find the magic they need from this corner? Over it comes. Well, not quite the header he had in mind. Stopping him. This could be the equaliser. Really good block. And the referee says penalty. to level matters and the penalty is converted a goal is his but chooses the right way and he gets something on it just the to fan can they forge ahead yes is the answer and that could be oh so important what a... and they need to get tighter can he finish them off he's done it what a climax to this game with great technique what a visitors 
Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him. To the conclusion of this episode, a few slight changes to the plans, but starting off with the Manchester City game, very poor game all round. But at the Etihad, Manchester City were very, very poor. Four shots, three on target, two goals. Nunes getting a 16th minute goal. We got an equaliser with Liam Delap in the 34th minute, 1-1. And then Grealish with a near post goal to make it 2-1 in the 57th. We had six shots, three on target. Very quiet game. Probably should have got something out of that. But, you know, City go through in the quarterfinals. Going away to Carrow Road. Again, very poor. Norwich, two shots, one on target, one goal, three points. You know how it goes. We had eight shots, four on target. And Sara did get a 1-0. Well, Sara made it 1-0 in the 14th minute. We just couldn't capitalise. I thought we were the better team for the most most part of the match. As you knew, then we went on to simulate the Plymouth game and we drew 1-1. I also simulated the Coventry game and we drew 2-2. But we, went ahead, play, we went ahead and played Southampton instead. Nice 3-1 victory. We'll get into that in a minute. But I mean, Liam Delap got a 45th minute goal just before half time to give us the lead. And then Stuart Armstrong scored from the penalty spot to make it 1-1 in the 77th minute. Very poor penalty, really handball. Then good old Turfan stepped up when we needed him the most, put us 2-1 in front in the 81st minute, and then Aaron Connolly sealed it with 3-1 in the 86th minute. But we had 8 shots, 6 on target. They had 6 shots, 5 on target. So very much, well, a much better game. The rest said the reason we've played the Southampton game is because we've now closed the gap to 3 points on them. 68 points to 71. Leads have dropped off the last couple of games. I mean, they beat Plymouth. And then I think they, they lost a couple. They lost to Millwall when we drew to Plymouth. And then they drew to Watford when we drew to Co Coventry. So, missed opportunity there to get maximum points and start to create a gap for the playoffs. But I mean, we're sitting in third. And like I said, we closed the gap on Southampton, which is very good. So we've got six games to possibly squeeze an automatic promotion place. But in the next episode, we have Stoke at home. We have Cardiff away and QPR away. Very tough episode again. But we're getting, obviously, we've got six games left of the season. Quick look at how the team's performed. Liam Delap doing 29 goals in 38, 9 assists. Carvalho, 14 goals in in 38, Turfan steps up when he needs to, Ozan Turfan, great player, age of 29, great experience, and and as Zarari as well, 11 goals for himself this season, I mean, Longman scored 10 goals out on loan at Millwall, and Philogene with 10 goals, but assist wise, Philogene 15 assists, Turfan 10 assists, Zarari 9, Delap, you know, we've, we've done quite well, and Pander 9 clean sheets, so yeah, not a bad episode. We're sitting in third, we're still pushing for promotions. Well, still pu still pushing for promotion with six games left to go. Hope you've all enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.